I am telling you, it is the definition between an entrepreneur and an employee. The employee goes to the cliff, looks over the cliff, says, you know, balloon down there, you know, you're out of space. What happens if it takes? What if I land on my neck? The entrepreneur, they said, we need to jump off the cliff, backs up, and see if you get a fucking run. This town needs an enema. <laughs> Fuck. Who are you? Where is Kevin Sears going? Everything changed. Yeah, and anyone who tells you different is just lying. You know who this is? This is Mark. Motherfucking Sylvester. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, look at that core 20 in the house right off the bat. CT0. Hashtag core 20. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Welcome. How's welcome everyone to doing very... tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic, actually. Uh, how are you doing, man? Can't complain. Can't complain. Good night. We're really excited for tonight's show. It's going to be a great one. Absolutely. Been waiting on this for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, with that being said, we're going to keep this to probably about an hour. So we're going to get our guests on here uh, very quick. Let's say hi to the chat real quick before we get going. Uh, Mark Penguin, uh, two days in a row or two shows nice. in a row. Number one in the chat. Appreciate you, brother. Member of the channel. We also have a member of the channel, uh, Christopher Bouchard, Bouchard in the house. Good to see you, Good brother. See you. Member of the channel as well. Yeah. Hail the Lord. What's up, brother? We got uh, co comics. That always messes me up. Khan's Comic Pit Stop. I'm just going to start saying Pit Stop. CCPS. So yes, I like that. CCPS. <laughs> Got Manning Steve Milk in the house. Says, Sarjo, wrong count. Here you go. Hail Core 20. I like that. Got nice. Nefarious in the house as well. What's going on, Neff? Good to see Shaking, you. brother. Well, awesome. This is uh, certainly exciting. Absolutely is, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Hal Dieter, 6480 is in the house. Good to see you. Paulus Arts as well. Mm. It says, might fall asleep before the show. By best to Phil Tan. Uh, he's God tier artist. That's, that's what's up. Uh, former member, but but member in our always hearts. in our hearts because uh, for some reason it didn't uh, YouTube did not renew his membership. I have no idea why, but member of the channel, we'll say Rick Sailors in the house. Good to see you, brother. The legend. Uh, see, oh, one of the uh, most nice. talented younger artists coming out up. there right now. Killing Absolutely, it. yeah. Uh, the art Jedi is in the house. It says mm -hmm. uh, I'm beyond excited for this. Philip is currently the biggest influence on my work while penciling my book, and I love learning and. Uh, information or tidbits about his process. One of the comics greats. Mm. Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. Paulus Paul Essen Essenson Essenson in the house. Good to see you. Zabby. Senior GM as well. Uh, we got Henry. Man, look at that! All you guys are in here. Appreciate it. Come to Harris says uh, M F F M M F S. Yes. That. Yes, whatever exactly. Exactly, whatever that, All exactly. Day. Whatever, whatever that was, yes. A yeah. uh, member of the channel, Cosmic Studios, is in the house as well. Uh, thank you for being here. Illegally yeah. Blonde. Interesting. Nice. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before, but welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Uh, Devin Vo is in the house. Says, Hail Joe, Sean, and the chat. Hail to you, brother. Hail we you. got Snuggy Jr. in here as well. Snuggies. You, thank you, brother. Uh, member of the channel and the man himself, Mr. J from Desolate Soul Studios. Thank you for being here, brother. We appreciate mm -hmm. you. Uh, member of the channel, MB Bonner's in the house. Is ahoy. Ahoy to you, ahoy. man. 
good to see you. Thank you for being here. Oh, wow. A, a name I haven't seen in wow. a while. One of Sarah our firsts. Oh, good to see you, man. I hope yeah. everything is, yeah. is going well with uh -huh. you. We got Dean in the house. Good to see That's you, brother. Dean. Hell. Uh, Black Hat Cinephiles here as well. It says, what's up? What's up to you? What's up to you? Chris J827 says, hey to the chat. Love it. Jason R. Monroe. Oh, from Hawaii. Ooh, awesome, man. Very cool. Hope you're having a good time. All right. That was great. We're to the bottom of the chat. We got 32 people in here already. Appreciate you guys. If you haven't yet, please hit the like, subscribe, hit the notification so you can get a notification every time we go live and bring you awesome art and awesome guests like we have tonight. Uh, it's Wednesday. I'm feeling good. Welcome to art uh, and stuff 24 years in the business on a technicality i may be dysfunctional but i'm functional editor extraordinaire hispanic god on paper journey jersey's finest creator type one the only one live on indiegogo right now sean aaron with me as always my brother and i very talented very sexy very distinguished always narcissistic but never vain staunch fender rob liefeld gina crown and lover of all things 90s joseph michael sontag or joe sontag if you prefer as the pope likes to call me jms Welcome to the show, and as always, what an awesome show we have for you tonight, because, Sean, who we have? In the we have one of the here. most inspiring artists that I guess we are coming up with for yeah, over 20 absolutely. years now. Uh, his pencils are just so insane, so, so inspiring. Wow. I'm really excited. I'm kind of flustering. I apologize. Please bring <laughs> on Philip Tan. All right. Welcome to the show, <laughs> Mr. Philip Tan. How is it going, brother? And thank you for coming out. We really appreciate this. Hey everyone, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. We also got uh, Paul in the house as well as American Comics Co. Welcome, guys. Appreciate you all in the chat. Uh, if you guys have any questions in the chat, feel free to throw them in. Uh, I will definitely try to get to them before the show is done if we have the time. Uh, if you do a super chat, it will definitely be answered in about two seconds. I'm just to let you guys know on that. Uh, I'm going to throw the, the uh, show to Sean for a second because he usually introduces the guests and asks him. Uh, the question so i'm gonna deal with the chat here for a second but man sure. this is exciting been looking forward to this for a while so so philip uh we'd like to ask our guests first time guests what got you into comics what got you into drawing what 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 inspires you and i know I, that's a loaded question but now now <laughs> I, I i i'm sure everyone you know gets asked that um same question but it's pretty important for 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 artists to kind of share what you know what got the spark started mm -hmm. you know, um what got the fire started and and for me it was it was um it was old manga you know the the, the, the old 80s you know not just cart you know japanese manga uh, and japanese anime but also a lot of the 80s cartoons mm -hmm. um and once i kind of got hooked with those um I, I was just never a, a, a sports kid, you know. I, I I failed with every single sport I tried, you know. I I just don't have that gene, um, and and you know it's just it, it it doesn't hold my attention or interest long enough, um, mm -hmm. not not like like anime or 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 or, or cartoon shows. And once I, I I saw a comic book. And I'm like, oh, I, I can get this in the book form, and I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait for you know every Friday or or you know 7 p.m. stuff like that. You know, it, it, I, I can. It, it's a book, um, right? I mean, taken. It's pretty expensive. You know, I grew up in the Philippines, and 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 comic books are a luxury over there, uh, at least back then. You know, it was, right. it was uh, kind of unaffordable, but you know. Um, you, your eyes opened up that there is such a thing, and then you start going to libraries. Um, uh, thankfully, our library—I uh, I think the, the 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 school library we had had a lot of manga, and there were cheaper bootleg copies of, of, of things that that you know that are like comic books, and that kind of started, you know, my 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 obsession with 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 comics and and creating images and telling stories um you know out of your head just read your imagination i mean that that was mm -hmm. that, that was what it was it's cool. funny i remember when i first got into comics it was through a library as well which oddly enough uh the libraries we had around where i was growing up had a bunch of the old spider-man 
comics and everything. I, that's one of my earliest memories of getting into comic books was, was back then. And uh, just the inspiration it gave me from that point on. It's a uh, God bless libraries. And they're still around. Yeah. I actually just took my well, daughter I, to a library not too long ago. We, we, we only had manga. You know, we didn't have comic American comic books. And, and, you know, uh, I, I have to thank one of my, uh, 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 like, grade school classmates back then. He, he, he was a wealthier, you know, he's, he's from a wealthier family, so he's got comic books. Right. And, and I think, you know, he, um, he, he showed me, he, you know, he's like, oh, let me show you this. This is, this is really cool. Um, and it was Batman the Outsiders, you know, and that was the first comic book I've, I've, I've seen, I, you know, uh, uh, not, ironically enough, I'm not really a big Batman fan, <laughs> but, right, uh, right. but, uh, but, but that was the first book. What so growing up in ma manga and stuff, uh, what was your thought when you when you saw like the Western the style of comics? You know, because they are such a different style. But I will I will say that the the influence felt um, from manga in the Western style was was big in the late eighties and early nineties. It really started like guys like Liefeld and, and McFarlane and all of them started to really bring in a lot of the techniques from those comics into into American comics. Oh, what did you feel when you first like read like a Batman or, or an X Men book? You know, but but I think that's what's magical about picking up manga or comic books when you were that young. You don't really, I, at least for myself, I like I, I can't really speak for everyone else, but I never really felt like there's a distinctive art style that that differentiates them. When when you're that young, that's a good point. Everything that mm -hmm. everything that you get your hands on is 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 amazing. Like you know, you're you're so impressionable that that all these things are 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 someone's imagination, and they're, they're you know, as a kid, you're like ah, you know, I would love to be a mutant when I you know someday, <laughs> but that's yeah, probably yeah. not gonna happen. Yeah. Um, so all these things are are magical, and 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 you know, I, I'm I'm sure everyone would have problems and and troubles in their lives. As young as as in their you know their teens, and these are a great source of uh, uh, escape. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And, and they're, they're they're also inspirations. You know, um, I I I, I realize that I like drawing. I, I I like creating or recreating whatever I'm I'm reading or or uh, or what I what I you know what I've seen as a kid. Um, and, and again, when you're that young, you never thought about. Am I drawing it close enough to the to the quality of artwork from the book that I'm reading? I uh, probably not. You're right. just excited that oh, you know, I, I got this guy with uh with three claws that that, yeah. that can pass. That works, you know. And and yeah. you, you go on and and do your own uh, fanzine and whatnot. Uh, it's funny. Uh, Sheldon Martin, member of the channel here, said uh, that's funny. When I was a kid, I thought all comics were drawn by the same guy, and that. Uh, Probably me for the longest time too. Before you realize that there was actually multiple different artists that drew books, because yeah, you just get drawn into the art and the fantasy escapism of what comics were, and that's I think that's what I love about comic books so much is you can get started at such an early age, and for the most part, it sticks with you. You know, I'm 41 years old, and I've been reading comics and loving the comic book art style since I was like eight years old. You know, and I'm still as much in love with it today that as I was back then. Oh, absolutely. I, I think the, the, the first few years where you, you know, got hold of comic books, you don't really care about the art mm -hmm. or, or the details of, of the, the, the books itself. Um, and it would probably until I would imagine you get, you know, get your hands on those books, you know, around 10. So yeah. once you're like 15, 14, then you started to see, okay, this is, the kind of art I like, this is the kind of, kind of art I don't like, and the same with stories and, you know, um, and so on. So um, art is important. Obviously, that's, that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, but, but for, for like, you know, if, if you have younger relatives or, 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 or kids, you know, that, that you're, you're trying to get into comic books, I, it doesn't really matter what art you, what kind of art is in the comic book. Um, and you need to hook them first with 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 the books. Then you, you you get them into oh this is do you like this art do you like that art you know that kind of stuff. 
Uh, Rick Saylor says, <clears throat> hello to the badass Philip Tan. Amazing having you here. Absolutely. Fast. Absolutely. Uh, Jay's saying, uh, really hope Phil Philip has some Ronin book to work to show tonight. I uh, love you, Jay. You're awesome. <laughs> um, speaking of, of Ronin, we on this channel, every time a, a book comes out, we'll, we'll kind of do like a not necessarily an art review, but we we have a show on Tuesdays called Appreciating Comic Book Art, which is that's basically what we do. We we look at a run of an artist or a book that's coming out and we just geek over the art because that's what we love here and so we've been keeping track of the ronin book too no thank you uh, which we yeah. absolutely loved it's, it's been inspiring. great and i love how you have infused the the manga elements into that style so it, what i have to ask is our other co-host uh, kayla when she's here we we've, we've noticed that in certain scenes or certain panels sometimes you push it a little bit more manga than other scenes and panels i was just wondering like what the thought process was behind that if it's a uh, intentional or if it's just however you feel at the time when you're drawing it well i, I it's probably something that that started and then it, it's, it's at this point it's subconscious you know um i'm you know starting issue six right now uh the the last issue of this uh, arc and it, it the, the 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 subconscious mindset you put yourself into um started from the first issue you know uh frank and i would go through a lot of this uh, uh, uh back and forth about how the visuals are going to be how how we're going to approach this book and and that's when he said you know he he wants his lone wolf and cub right um, mm -hmm. Absolutely, and, I, yeah. and I, I figured, you know, if, if I'm gonna go and do, I mean, there's nothing wrong with 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 just the '90s influence art, which which I love very much. That's that's yeah. how most of my art looks like. Yeah. Um, but you know, Frank wanted this other feel to the book, and I just decided that you know, you know, I threw out all these suggestions and and went with you know, um. The, the great towns and, and all these other uh, features um, that probably does look like more, it's much more influenced by manga. Um, and, and, you know, Frank decided that he, that's what he wanted, you know, he, oh, he nice. says, okay, this is it, you know, this, this look is what we want. Um, you know, we, we, we kind of have to de like design a lot of things on the fly mm -hmm. where, you know, I, I guess that is where, um, like, I think like recently I, I heard about, there's a difference between the Marvel style and the plot style. Okay. Oh, it's right. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that's yep. actually not not the same, which I thought was was the same thing for the longest time. Right. For, yeah. So same here. <laughs> the, the, the Marvel style apparently is where the the thing we know about um, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee, but the story didn't really came from just Jack. I mean, uh, Stan Lee. So it's kind of like Stanley telling Jack Kirby that okay, the Fantastic Four needs to go from this place to that place, and 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 runs into this bad guy, and this thing happens, and just make sure that when we start next issue, they have to save Ben Grimm, something like that. Right. Right. And and Jack kind of orchestrates the whole the whole thing, and what what I guess what's what what I got wrong all this time is that if the plot is from the writer, that he came up with the story, he tells the artist what's going to happen from page one to twenty. It's maybe it's not bro you know broken down into panels, but the whole story came from the writer. That it's not Marvel style. Yeah, it's funny that you bring bring that up because I I I've been thinking the same thing for years that that was that was actually the Marvel style, but it's really just the plot style. It's it's yeah, interesting because I mean, it's kind of similar I, but not the same. I I, I did yeah. I did not know, and I heard it directly from one of the Marvel editors in the eighties and nineties, and he was, you know, as a matter of fact, I think it was on Facebook too. He was explaining that to 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 people who was always getting it wrong. Um, and and uh, coincidentally, when we started issue one of Ronin Book Two, Frank actually just gave me ten pages of the layout. Oh. Mm -hmm. right. 10, 10, 10 to fifteen, I think. And I did the rest of the 40, 47, 40, 43. Yeah, because they're big books. Yeah, they're, and, yeah, page um, count wise. Yeah. And 
and and I, I and I'm not sure if that was intentional on Frank's part to kind of like okay, I I, I want to see if this this kid can do it, and if not, he's fired next issue. So I, <laughs> but but you know, I mean, in, in a way, you you see Frank evolve. You see him, you know. I I mean, it's it's gonna be. It's gonna be like uh, 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 seeing him change his his artwork to like okay. There's some strengths that I see from this kid that I'm trying to uh, uh, train right now. I I in my mind he's still training me, and you know he would put in things and elements that he thinks you know would be best for 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 my art well, my art style and, right. and at the same time serves the the, the, the story purpose. And that's how he started doing all these uh, 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 complete layouts for every single issue afterwards. Yeah, I was just going to say it was interesting in the, in the latest issue that just came out. You actually they printed a lot of Frank's layouts in the back, just kind of showing what was going on. And they had always said in the credits that he was doing some layouts. What I thought was really cool is. Um, oh, not some, all of them. Oh, like, every single. Uh, issues two, two to six. I mean, issue four is not is going to be a. Uh, 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 ink by directly on the layouts by by Daniel, um, okay. but the entire issues two to six are completely laid out by Frank. Sorry, not to cut you off. Oh no, okay. No, no, I'm glad you clarified that. I'm yeah. glad you clarified. But what I was what I was gonna say is like I, I enjoyed seeing the original layouts because they're actually very very detailed and, and laid very, out. But I love that the freedom you had to go and just do your own thing. Like you're really true to the layouts, but you you know you you put your own thing in, into it and, and made it your oh, own. Thank you. And that I think that was it's a great working combination. It kind of runs into a question here I saw from Paul. He just said, "Uh, oh, not that one. That was the wrong question. This but question you- from Jasper. Yeah, <laughs> it was from Jasper. Um, he said, "How did uh, Philip get connected with Frank Miller and the Dio? Which is on this whole project. You know, we know like the whole Frank Miller. You know, this new company that they formed together." And I think this is the first book that came out from it, right? So how'd that come apart? Come about that you guys, you know, um, you got the gig, man. Like that's I, 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 um, I know Dan for a long time. Um, I'm, I'm close with Dan, and you know, there were there were times during when he was, you know, a, a head of head of DC, and 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 he wanted to write, um, but he didn't really have time, and it was a time where DC is moving to Burbank from New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and he wanted to write outsiders, um, but he can't find an art. I, 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 from what I understood, is that he can't find an artist who's willing to go with no script. So what we what we would do because he, he 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 didn't have time to write the script. We he would fly in every month for whatever meetings he's got with DC and Burbank, and I would drive up there, um, meet him at the diner, and he would act out whatever he needs cool. um and that would be every single issue of like outsiders for like a good year or so i think for we did like 11 or 13 issues of that book um and 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 we got we got close from that um and i've always wanted to like you know i would kind of like but dan that oh if, if there's any chance that an opening with frank comes up you know please keep me in mind nice and, 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 and then there was there was just never that opportunity, right? Um, and and when he when 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 he parted ways with DC, and and I'm, I'm sure you you can you can you know Dan and Frank has a lot of interviews where they talked about how how Ronin Two got started, how the new company got started. Um, they just figured you know maybe that's a sensibility that 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 I can bring for Frank. Um. And a lot of things that Frank wants to do right now, it's it's not really just like go back and create what 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 the, the properties he's known for. Um, at least to me, what how it looks like is he's trying to train and pass on his wisdom. Um, I you know in in Frank's perfect world for for comic book artists, you would. Everyone should eventually become a writer artist and not just be an artist, not just be a work for her illustrator. Right. Yeah. Um, but that's my understanding. I mean, I could may, hopefully I'm not wrong, but it does feel like that's what he's um, guiding me towards, too. 
I mean, that's that's awesome. That it's a, a working relationship is, is, with as far as like training or, or tutoring or whatever you want to call it with that company. Like, that's really cool to hear. Um, let me. I did I'm say, sorry. I, I hope I answered that question. I, I kind of strayed a little bit. Oh no! Absolutely, no. absolutely. I, I wanted to get real quick to uh, Christopher Bouchard had a five dollar super chat. They he dropped a little bit ago i want to make sure i got to that before we got too far away it says hello philip love your shadow hawk cover that is a badass cover thank you yeah. i am very proud of what i've done with 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 jim's book like i i don't know if you guys know jim is the first image founder and creator that that i that's that's like my idol my hero oh i i, I know people will talk about how he can he, he gets compared to all these other image founders and he's not as popular He's not as flashy and all that. Right, right. But I great storyteller, though. That's a fact. I don't think anyone among the image founders. I mean, they all like Todd, Jim Lee, and and Rob, Mark. They all have this amazing, you know, Eric. They have amazing skills to you know on 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 the flashy artworks. Right. But I don't think no one is as good as planning and getting like fifteen year olds excited on 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 the, on, on on a superhero story. As, as Valentino, yeah, he's in a my great opinion, storyteller. He's the yeah, in my opinion. Yep. No, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Yeah. Um, Shadow Hawk, when that came out, it, it, granted, so <clears throat> the big image boom happens, and, and obviously we were all very attracted to the Jim Lees and the Lifefells and McFarlands, you know, and the Sylvester's and all that. And so I think Jim Valentino does kind of get pushed down a little bit because you're right; he's, it wasn't as flashy of an art style. But that being said. Uh, Shadowhawk was a cool character. Like the character design cool was visuals, cool. Yeah. The comics were cool. The story, the story was really it was a cool like kind of mystery of who was Shadowhawk and like all this kind of stuff. He's um, brutal. Just a brutal is, character yeah, breaking brutal their character. spines. And, and, yeah. And if you guys know this, he's the only he's the, at least the first one who actually plans a good payoff in the comic book story. You know, with with which who's Shadowhawk? You know, all that. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. would say a story gimmick. Um, the same thing when he started Guardians of the Galaxy on, on on a journey to find Captain America's shield far away into the future. I mean, those kind of stuff are 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 are, are things he's good at. And mm -hmm. as a kid, you you you're not gonna try to read into all the small details of the story or the small details of the artwork or how flashy it is. Yeah, that would help, but right you're going to get immediately sucked into the, the, the concept, the idea of, of, of what Jim Valentino is giving you, you know, in, in a comic book, if you're like 12, if you're like 13. Right. Yeah. He, that, he's really good with that. I mean, he's, I think Liefeld um, has definitely given him props for helping him as a young artist, writer coming up in the industry, yep. you know, giving Jim a lot of props for helping guide him early on with their days of Marvel and even into image as well. And I, I'm pretty sure that everybody that, that was with Jim that came up through image had great respect for his ability to, to, to write and to tell stories, yeah. to do layouts, stuff like that. So yeah, I do think he's highly underrated, even if he isn't as flashy as some of the other guys that get a lot of the credit for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let me But when he had a really good anchor, like he shined, like when chance Wolf thanked him, it was just like, Oh, chance. Yeah. No level of yeah, solid foundation. Uh Paul did have a question. Uh he said, Did you enjoy your small run on spawn? Now you've done a couple different runs on spawn, haven't you? I, I did two runs. The the mm -hmm. first one, the first one that was, was was actually 2008 or seven. Okay. And yeah. and, and I, I, I did 151 to 163, I think. Um and and it's probably the, the biggest thing. Like I, I owe I owe Todd like a lot a ton like my career you know i owe a lot of people my career but todd absolutely i i, I for the lack of better term i i i'm i'm sh i don't i can't find the right word for it like he puts me on the map where people start to notice my work right I, gotcha. I, was, I remember doing uh, you know uh, multiple years of a convention in japan and at that point i i i've done batman and robin i've done green lantern but every single person in my line over there, yeah, some of them knows about Batman and Robin or the or X Men stuff I've done. But ninety percent are all Spawn fans, right? And yes, and, and yeah. that's and and, and 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 that's when you know that you know okay, your 
body of work on that book is what puts you there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the 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 character design and just character in general that Todd created is is iconic, you know, and like almost everybody like I don't know if I've ever really run a run into too many people that haven't liked that character and the book, you know. So getting a chance to draw on the book for however long is definitely going to put you in that that atmosphere with a lot of and, and, and a you lot know, of uh, fans. Working working with Todd is is like I I think anyone who gets a chance to work with Todd, unless 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 it's working with Frank, but anyone right. who, who gets a chance to work with Todd, you don't say no. Like right. The most I've learned from 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 a from a comic book creator is Frank, and then next is Todd. So if Frank never happened, it would be Todd. Like the amount of in, the, the the amount of of wisdom he gives you on how to create, a, you know, attractive comic books, is priceless. You right. know, um, he's he's the he's the biggest reason that 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 you understand how to not how to cheat with 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 not drawing everything you know because that's what you have to do when you're drawing spawn you don't have you can't keep drawing every single detail of the cape and chains and everything and <laughs> right and you know how to simplify your artwork where you know todd would always like every time i turn in the cover he would he would call you and says if i'm standing five feet away from from the bookshelf and you're cover is not jumping out then you're failing your job mm. you know and, and and he would go into why certain things would pop up and why certain things would go recede and most of the time it would be, be because you're 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 tunnel visioning into doing all the small details which again they are cool but right. you, you have to find what you know kind of like pick your fight and find for your good what you're good at mm -hmm. and, and and make sure make 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 sure that those comes up Anyway, so um, Spawn has that the, my 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 time on Spawn has been one of like the best experience I ever had. And I I absolutely love the way that you you've drawn the character when you've had the time to be on the books. Like there, not in, in my opinion, not every artist can capture Spawn. I mean, obviously Todd creating Spawn, the art style, and then Greg came through and did a fantastic run and you know really defined what the character looks like for just everything from just the angles the you know the cave the way it works i don't think like everybody can just jump on and do it justice but when you jump on you do a great spot like i've always enjoyed every time you get in i i'm always excited absolutely absolutely um sean anything you want to add there's a couple of questions i'm gonna get to but i know you got some stuff you want to do well get, getting theory. back to ronin uh book two every time we go over it we kind of get like we're the crocodile hunter we're like oh look what, <laughs> look at this texture like we're, we're, we're looking at from from the smallest little figure to the big double page spread, and we're mm. dissecting it like we're just we're just trying to we're just loving Thank what you. you're producing. Like it is, yes. yeah, yeah. We're really geeks Art when it comes geeks to, to the and, core, baby. And oh, sometimes baby. we feel yeah. like we're, we're we're like yeah, um, no, 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 like like um, like the chat's not interested, but like they're loving it too. They're like, oh yeah, like it's it's really cool just to get how involved we all involved about what you produce it's so inspiring i can't not say that enough oh thank I'm you done. man thank you thank you well i mean yeah. it will be part of that is being there, there's mm. there's you know no matter how people might not realize what daniel brings to the table um he's fantastic there's, there's yeah. no yeah. way i could have done anything close to what i'm doing without daniel and and mm -hmm. you know da daniel's digital um and, but that being said, we we try to create the effects that 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 you that you can only get from from a, a, a you know traditional like a lot of people who does digital screen a, a gray tone screen tones right now mm -hmm. they get mori patterns they get the mori effect which means that when when the image is 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 bit is looked at from a distance you you get this like. I, I, I'm not sure how to say it. It's there's this like uh, pattern that 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 comes up because uh, de it, it depends on how close the the dots are, to, you know, with each other. They're how yeah. far they're from each other and how big those dots are. Um, and when you're using digital, 
you, you get lost because you're always zooming in, zooming out, zooming yep. in, and and you can't really see it. You know, unlike where if, if it's if it's traditional, you can you right. just put it there, go like that, and you'll see it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so so we, we we it took us like an entire year just to figure out how to make that work. Oh wow! Um, for Frank. I mean, that, it's not an excuse. I'm still slow, but you know. <laughs> um, well, do he do he scan any any traditional stuff? Because like with the, with the pat, did he scan in any traditional um, uh, of like like the textures that he would use? No, no, no. He did not. Um, he a lot of times he would actually create from scratch on on digitally. Like okay. I'm, I'm sure there are softwares out there that has them pre-made. Yeah. And, and again, I mean, the, the problem with pre-made is because there's so many, you would have to pick and choose one by one until you get to the right one. Sure. And and I guess in a way, again, I, I, I'm horrible with tech and, and hopefully I'm not like telling the story wrong, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had to like create them every single time mm -hmm. um, and save them to, to, to use it again later on instead of picking from presets of, of screen tones digitally the uh yeah the textures in that book is, is fantastic and and he's just the work he does is is great too like you guys make a, a hell of a team a hell of a team like artistic yeah this i we've enjoyed everything from that book um and, and I've, I've i've been on record a bunch of times like I've, I've never been a huge fan of like the actual manga style i'm getting warmed up to it but a book like this really kind of pulls me into it because it, it shows me some of the stuff that i am missing within your style which i absolutely love and then just kind of like some of the animes animes i don't know whatever way you draw like uh some of the female characters and the mm -hmm. eyes are just absolutely gorgeous they're, they're just beautiful how you how you depict uh the facial expressions the little kid you know the cub in yep. in the in the story is just that's a very fun it, i've never tried to really draw kids because i've always had a hard time they're hard to draw you know like drawing drawing a kid is just it's a hard thing to draw to make right, it look the age the john it's burn, supposed to be the john burn the john burn kids on the wanda twins no google it up google that all right i'll, I'll do that i'll do that wanda in a second twins. you have to uh, google that we got a uh, scary Batman Jenkins member of the channel says uh, hail all Mr. Tan your art is amazing just had to say hi and all three or to all three of you off to bed well thank you brother good night and thank you uh, yeah, yeah. You, you have to google John Byrne drawing I'm gonna do that right now and Look. then you won't feel so bad because that's John Byrne <laughs> okay we got uh Papa John Malin in the house he's getting an art boner here he He's known to get boners regardless, but this art boner is particularly special. John Byrne. Wanda Twins. The Wonder Twins. All right, let me no, see. No, 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 Wanda, Wanda, like Scarlet Witch. Oh, okay. Oh, Wanda, okay. All right, let me I spell that wrong then. I thought you meant like the ones from the cartoon with the, the purple light, ape. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right, let me do this. Let me see. So uh, can, you tell us what, can you tell us what page you're working on? What's that? Can you tell us like uh, what page you're working on without spoilers, like like range wise? You, you know the the funny thing is 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 Frank actually don't like spoilers, <laughs> so and we're I good. Mean, he, he doesn't like telling people what I'm doing. <laughs> right. So I, okay. I, you know, you gotta forgive me. I have to uh, stick with Frank on that one. No, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Yeah, Frank says we, it, do, like, we, do, we we do we do have another project, and hopefully they'll still have me. I mean, it's not it's not. A, a green light yet but you know um i i'm i'm writing it and nice and frank's, got, and frank's guiding me on it it's for his oh, nice. company um and i think you guys are gonna like it and hopefully love it once it gets approved i was just gonna if say you're drawing it, i'm buying it regardless so like you could oh, draw yeah, the phone down. book for all i care you know like yeah <laughs> i'm getting that and and while 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 you are looking for the twins uh, artwork by John Byrne, Joe, I, I would recommend a book. Um, hopefully, it will kind of get you into manga. I you know I you don't have oh. to, but it's, what do you got? It's, it's probably the most influential art wise for me from a manga artist. It's Takahiko Inoue's Vagabond. 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 Yeah, Vagabond. Oh. 
right. I'm going to move. In there and look it up. All right. I will check that out. I got it pulled up. I'll look at that after some of the stuff that just pulled up, though. That does look cool. I'll okay. check that out after the show for sure. Um, I don't know if this is the image or not. Um, this was one of the ones that, that pulled up. I, I couldn't tell if this was exactly burned or not, but uh, is this one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're saying, though. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're fine. So don't worry. You <laughs> so, just, yeah. just go and try it. I, I, I'm going to have to now. Now I'm going to have to. Yeah, that gave me some inspiration. Be like, all right, I, I can do it now. I can do it. <laughs> I can draw better than that. That's okay. the most muscular three-year-old that I've seen in my life. <laughs> with with Very, with with like deep cheekbones and everything. I, I was just gonna say like yeah the the, the face yeah. <laughs> it looks awesome. like the one actor from the Animal Kingdom show. <laughs> I dig that. No, but I, I mean you know I, I, I Barn is a gigantic hero of mine, but you know it's things like this that that makes you go okay. Worst what's what's the worst right? I mean, right? Yeah. I mean, I think sometimes we got to not live in our own heads so much because you know when you're an artist you you want everything to be perfect right you want it to be just the best you can put out there you know because you probably always or at least i know i judge myself against a, a lot of my um idols you know in favor you know, which which i try not to do because i'll never be those names you know so a lot of times when you draw something like that which i've not tried to draw children but if i did i'd look at it and be like man that's just nobody should ever see this but and, and that does give me inspiration and and you know one thing that frank you know that, that i will never forget is when he says you, you know i mean obviously everyone will tell you when you when you're being kind of like uh, uh, uh when you're talking to someone who's 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 obviously has more experience than you are and kind of like sharing their wisdom you know um onto you they will always tell you that you're not supposed to compare yourself to all these other uh, uh, your heroes and whatnot. But what 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 Frank really made me like that's when the light bulb, you know, lights up. It's when he says, you know, you 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 will eventually find something that you know that only you can do. That mm -hmm. all your heroes are probably mm. not doing. You know, um, creative wise, at least, you know, whatever that element is. And and once that thing happens, th then it's a domino effect. And and, I, and, and and it wasn't until then, then I started to seeing, oh, these are the things I can do that all my heroes are either not doing or they're probably I, too old to do it, you know. Um, and it won't stop. And, and you'll find them. Not all, at, at, you know, at the same time, you'll find them one by one, you know, as you do more work, as you go through, uh, 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 you know, month in, month out of drawing, whether it be a, 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 a sequentials or or commissions or pinups, whatnot, you you will that, find them. It will, it will just show up. You have, you have to, you have to believe it. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, <clears throat> that makes a lot of sense. That that makes so much sense. And it's funny when I'm trying to find an example here I can bring up so the chat can see. But when thinking of your art, what I think you have done that stands out uh, more than anything that I've seen, and you know, you you probably aren't like the originator of it, but just the way that you uh, use texture with with cross hatching. You know, you don't do a lot of solid blacks. You break up a lot of stuff with a lot of line work and it's just it looks it looks very fun from an artist's point of view like it looks very fun to do if you know how to do it and make it look Thank correct you. you know and oh absolutely it, it's one of the things that, that caught my eye when you started posting uh videos on like instagram or something where just like short videos of, of you doing some sketching or there's some uh convention sketches out there on youtube that has have been recorded that that i've watched of you drawing it's just really fun to watch you like your mind work as as you're drawing all these lines and just how you use them one for shape but in for shadowing and all that stuff i'm trying to find a, a, a there's a nasty really nova about. that you did that just every time i see it come through my my feed or let me see if i can find up, that it is just phenomenal well, i think I, it was I, one of the instagram I, I, I think one thing like for for fellow artists that, that are probably are listening about this, you know, one thing I will share, and I, I, I remember it was Todd. 
it was taught and, and and he would go you know if you have if you have two like two, two white space right you have mm -hmm. five dots equal equally spaced out on one side and you have on the other side three and two your eyes are immediately going to go look at the three and two because the, the the five dots that are equally spaced are not are not interesting mm -hmm. mm. okay and, and that's the the most basic example you can use when you're doing cross hatch because when you're making cross hatching or or feathering or whatever detail texture you're doing you're trying to rec recreate a texture a, a a shade right you're trying to recreate a shade and when you're recreating that shade if everything is 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 uniform then you're not your your eyes wouldn't know where to look at so something has to be darker and something has to be lighter in that area of of of, what, of, of the small area they're working on for your eyes to kind of like get you know an, the attention is going to go either on the, on 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 the lighter side or on the darker side i mean if mm -hmm. that makes sense no it, no, it does. does it does yeah. yep absolutely does uh, go ahead, Sean. I'm trying to find. Uh, there's a picture in my head specifically. I'm trying to find because I want to show the chat kind of what I'm what I'm talking about. If people aren't familiar, all right. Is, is there a character or a book that you would love to go wild on? Like if they're like, here's the key keys to the castle. Well, Namor. Okay. Really nice. All right. I'll be interested. Yeah, Nam Namor. Um. Uh. I, I actually I had the opportunity to 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 do Hawkman the way I wanted to because I was on Hawkman, mm -hmm. um, but one thing after another it didn't plan out, you know. Um, and just let's leave it at that. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Is there uh, a time in your career where where you saw the leaps and bounds or the progression of your art? Like I know it's not an everyday thing. Could be a couple months, could be a couple of years, could be however long. Is there a time where you look back, you're like, oh wow, like yeah, I definitely, definitely leveled up from like six well, months I, ago or whatever. I, I think we're all like that though. Yeah. I mean, it could be it could be as close as just the year before. Mm -hmm. You're immediately gonna see certain things that you feel like you've done, you're doing better. Um, but I you know, I I, I think the, the biggest jump I've noticed is when um, I think there was a time where, you know, I, I would never get any any of my um, commissions done at the, at the show. I can never get them all finished. And 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 I, I think at the same show, I was complaining to to I was I was kind of like not complaining. I was kind of like, you know, venting to to my to my good friend he's my art rep kirk um i was venting that you know i i i think marvel hates me they never give me any covers <laughs> and and i um and he's and and you know he he's he's very honest he says no phil you're you're just you first of all you're not putting in enough time on your work you're not you know working hard enough you're not working you're you're not really giving it the, the 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 right amount of thought on, on every single piece that you do um hmm. and, and and in the beginning you you won't you know and then he says yeah of course you're not going to get any cover offers from marvel and in the beginning you're gonna you know you're gonna hate hearing that you know, he's fired yeah, right yeah, you yeah. Know, of course you're like no that's not true you know i'm working hard you know blah 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 i'm getting sick from drawing already i mean i'm, I'm physically getting sick because i'm not resting i'm drawing all the time so mm -hmm. on and so forth you, you come up with all kinds of excuses and and it was and he says well how about this let's 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 do an experiment so so every day i would spend two hours drawing whatever whatever it is and i'll time myself and in the beginning i would only get a headshot done pencils you know and and i and i would complain that well you know usually a page would be a whole day so, you know, this is there's no point doing this, and right. and he's like, well, you know, if 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 you treat me as a friend, as a brother, then can you can you keep this up for like the next two months? We can still sell it, you know, uh, even if you have to sell it cheap, you're still not wasting time, right? Right. 
and I think by the by the third month, I, that's when I finally able to get the full figure done in that two hours. And when you're doing that, you you start trying you you start to look at your artwork and and take out a lot of the unnecessary tunnel visioning of of your details of whatnot. Um, and if you finish before the two hours, then you can go back and add whatever details you felt like you need to bring back on. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, magically, like that's when I started posting, like, oh, I, I would say almost three a week or four a week of sketches, just random sketches or just characters I love. Yeah. And that's when I started getting just out of nowhere more Marvel covers. You know, I mean, I like it's easy to think that there's there's some kind of like uh, uh, agenda to not hire you, but sometimes it's just like you know maybe your work is not good enough or maybe your work you just have to put in more time, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and you know, I if you guys are are like whoever's listening, if they're interested, go go try that method. That's time interesting. Two two hours. In two hours, you will only get maybe half a face done because that's what I had. In the right. beginning, and and by 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 the first month, then you can get maybe the bust or the torso, and by 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 two in two months, that's when I got the two hours down. Taken, it's not ideal. There's a lot of things I have to go back and 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 fix, but you, you're you're forced to not go back because you're timing yourself. And after right. two hours, you you have to go and do whatever page day job you you're supposed to do. Not yeah, and, that's sorry. That's great I, advice. I tangent again. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, that, these are awesome. awesome. We love that's these. Awesome. Yeah, please more. Um, Henry said, uh, Philip, I love your or like your homage cover that you did for Captain America 100. Uh, did you enjoy reimagining that Jack Kirby cover? I, I have to be honest, I did not because I felt like it's Kirby, right? Mm. I, you shouldn't ruin that, you know. <laughs> I, I, did, <laughs> I, I felt like I ruined it, and, and it, it, it was, you know, I, I'm not really big into homage covers but you know if marvel comes comes to you and says this is the only approach we wanted and there are characters i do like in there then yeah of course i'll do it um but most of the time i i i, I try to shy away if i can if i can decide on the final you know if again if it's up to me it won't be on the homage cover <laughs> right no, absolutely. I get you on that. Um, so this is the picture I found. This wasn't this wasn't the one I was looking for. For some reason, I can't find that. There is a uh, a Jean Grey or a Phoenix one you did that's on that's on YouTube. But I found this one, and it, this this is, this is good for what I was as far as the chat goes. So when I talk about like this uh, cross hatching style, I wish this was a, a high res uh, photo of this. But just this, you know, like the textures that you use. And you just use it so well, and it's not like overdone to where it's it stands out. And it looks it looks gaudy. It's just like everything just works perfectly. How long did it take you to, to kind of develop this particular style of that? That's one of the two hours. Really? Wow. Well, nice. Again, I mean, it, you did. That's great. I don't go from, I don't go from zero to that in a few right. months. You know, I mean, it, yeah. it obviously took the entire half a year or so before I finally. Was able to like get to a good solid, uh, a place with with this style with this with the art style, yeah. um, you know. And, and I, I I think another another practice you can do is is whether it be photos or artworks of your favorite artists, um, try to get the black and white. So if it's colored, try to get it in black and white. If it's a photo, try to get it in black and white. If it's already black and white, then perfect. So if you you stare at it for 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 10 minutes and you take it away and and for the next 15 try to redraw whatever you can remember mm. get that and, muscle memory kind okay, of that's that's a good going. practice for it yeah i love it it's it's interesting like um i'm i'm a i'm a visual learner when it comes to to art like i'm i'm way better at being able to just kind of sit sit and study someone's art or watch them draw and it it does kind of stick with you when you're drawing and you try certain techniques or you just you're practicing on sketching you know just you, you want to see if you can do it um i've done you know tried to kind of capture a little bit of this uh, sketching or this uh hatching technique that you've done in a few of my sketches from in the past and it was just one thing i found is is 
it takes time to figure out exactly how to do it and make it look good. But also when you when you get it down to a point where you're comfortable with it, it's just a whole hell of a lot of fun. And I've watched some of the videos that have been recorded of you drawing. It just looks like you're having a lot of fun drawing oh, this. You know, I, 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 wait, wait. As a matter of fact, the the two hours are way more fun than than proper covers or interior pages, mainly because you can kind of express yourself, um, almost whatever you want, and 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 also where if you're if you're doing the practices I've, I've, I'm talking about, you're kind of doing your interpretation of that artwork. So you would right. know what you like to do. You would know um, what's comfortable for you. And even if it looks wrong, you can kind of do it better next time, right? Um, where if you're literally staring at a piece of artwork and copying it line by line, then you're going to be very miserable. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, great point. But yeah, I just I, I wanted that's one of the things that just have really drew me to your work, especially when you started posting a lot of those on Instagram and in and, and, and videos I've seen. Like I really you talked about some of the like Frank saying you'll develop something that that your idols or whatever aren't doing or don't do a lot. And that's one of the things I noticed with you specifically. I started seeing you do that kind of work more on a regular basis. And that was something that was very inspiring to me because it wasn't something I saw a lot of other people doing on a regular basis. And I was like, wow, that's cool. You know, like that's kind of a newer thing. And it's just it's as an artist, it looks like it's fun and it's visually pleasing to the eye as well. So I just wanted to give a shout out to you for that. You know, like it's that's very inspiring what you what you created with that oh, that thanks, particular and, and kind of style. Again, again, you you will you once once you see that first one, you will keep finding things that you do. That 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 you probably will realize is something that only you can do, that none of your heroes are doing, you know, and mm. and and maybe better than what they do in that whatever, you know, element of artwork that is. Yeah, I mean that's a very inspiring thought. You know, just hearing you say that, like that's that has me thinking in a little bit different way. That's that's very inspiring. I hope that there's uh, other other artists out there that kind of get inspired by the by the same uh, same thought. Uh, guys, we're running up onto the hour here. Uh, we don't want to hold Philip too long. Uh, we definitely love to have you back at some time in the future because that'd this, be fun. Yeah, we Sean and I could geek out about technique and, and talking about art all day. This is what we absolutely love to do, and I'm sure we didn't get to everything we wanted to talk about today. Um, let me see. Oh, so Jasper was asking if you plan on doing your own IP later on. I don't know if we we already he covered touched that on that bit. earlier. Yeah. Well, what we do, I do, I do, and, and as a matter of fact, I have a few things. Um, not nothing announced, nothing that's that's planned anytime soon, but you know, uh, um, the, that one project for Frank, if mm -hmm. like fingers crossed, if it goes through, you know, um, it's it's kind of part partly my IP, you know, also, and 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 not just completely work for hire, um, but you know, a lot uh, there's 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 other things that I'm I'm I'm. And planning and, and doing, you know, chipping away slowly, um, and and just trying to go with 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 a different platform rather than anything that we've already seen in America. Um, okay, nice. You know, I, nice. I, I I I I think you have to try it. You have to worst case, you know, worst like the worst you can get is no one buys it. Sure, right, <laughs> right, that's sure. done, right. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, and this is probably uh, uh, the first time I'm talking about it. And and like three years ago, I I, I got a um I, I asked Todd about permission to do a a spawn fanzine. And, oh, nice. And and the only the on, the only the only uh, 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 deal is that I don't release it here, so it's only going to be at the convention in Japan. Oh, yeah, interesting. And um and. So you know, I'm gonna try and see if that works. You know, that's that's a very different way of of, and it's not, it's not like you know hmm. online selling or anything. It's literally you know I'm at the show, you know, it's actually one of the biggest shows they have, seven hundred fifty thousand people. Wow. You wow. Know, um, and, wow. And, and it's called the com it's called Winter Comic Cat, and uh, I'm gonna do my best and and not wow, you know, not butcher whatever. You know, <laughs> Todd's a, a good name on and spawn. <laughs> you know, have, um, but now I'm excited, you know, and, and I'm writing and drawing that fanzine. It's only like 
it's only one issue it's it's like 40 pages um, wow well keep a couple know. of copies on the side for us and we'll, we'll pay <laughs> out you uh, whatever it costs Hopefully i don't sell out over there but yeah I'll, yeah i'll definitely try to keep some copies over here yeah that nice. sounds that sounds like that would be absolutely absolutely awesome amazing. yeah um all right well we will we're gonna let you go here in a second if you could just stick around be, be, while we end the show there's a few things yeah. i'd like to chat with you about um but sure, chat you guys have been absolutely amazing all night great questions i'm sorry i didn't get to all of them um we will definitely have philip back again at some point and, and cover a lot of this stuff again and just you know chat about art because that was it's it's amazing uh <laughs> philip thank you so much for coming on like this Thanks for this was me true honor. Man, you both true honor. yeah an absolute honor to yeah. to be able to talk to you and just spend this hour you know geeking over art man so this is yeah this was the highlight of my week so we appreciate you coming yes, on sir. and making time for us no, thank you thank you um guys we will be back tuesday uh appreciating comic book art at 10 o'clock we're gonna be looking at the scott clark uh artifact edition made by the Wildstorm universe group on facebook so we're gonna look forward to checking that out uh everybody go check out type one live yep. on indiegogo now reaper yep. destroyer live on indiegogo right now as well and uh yeah, we will see you guys all a little bit later. So here's a little bit of an outro so we can get out of here. And uh, everyone have a great night. Peace. Take care. Good night, everyone. This is crack. Yeah. Everybody wants to be cool. But doing it with crack isn't just wrong. It could be dead wrong.